In this tutorial, we learn to create and apply the dip steered median filter, an application of the dip steering plugin. Dip steered median filtering is an edge preserving smoothing technique aimed at removing random noise from seismic data and enhancing laterally continuous events. Dip steered filtering, also known as structurally oriented filtering, is a data adaptive form of filtering in which the filters are applied along the orientation of the seismic events. At every position in the cube, the amplitudes are extracted in a circle along a virtual horizon that is constructed by tracking the local dip and azimuth. In a dip steered median filter, the amplitude in the center is replaced by the median value of the amplitudes in the extraction circle. Dip steered filtering works best when you use a heavily filtered steering cube. We call such a steering cube a background steering cube as it primarily contains dip azimuth trend information. A steering cube created with the default setting that is optionally mildly filtered to remove noise is called a detailed steering cube. Smoothing of the detailed steering cube yields the background steering cube that is used in a dip steered filtering. The top image is the input seismic data. The middle image is the dip steered median filtered using the detailed steering cube and the lower image is the deep steered median filtered data using the background steering cube. Note that both median filters manage to clean up the data but that the faults in the lower image are much sharper than the faults in the middle image. Let us now see how to create and apply this filter in OpenDetect. Note that we have added a small piece of inline that will be used for the testing purposes. Now open the attribute, set and observe that we have defined volume statistics attribute. The volume statistics attribute is designed to calculate statistics from extracted data. Here we extract data in a circle with a time gate from 0 to 0 and using the full steering mode based on a background steering cube. The radius or step out determines how much the filter will smooth the data. Press evaluate attributes to find the optimal setting for this parameter. Let's increase the radius in 5 steps from 0 to 4. At radius 0 the software returns the input data. Use the slider to movie style inspect the differences between the no filtering and filtering with radius 1, 2, 3 and 4, respectively. In this case we prefer filtering with radius 1, so we accept this and then close the attribute set window. We can now use our filter either interactively or in batch mode to filter the entire seismic cube and create a new, cleaner volume for further interpretation. To do the latter, go to the Processing menu and select the Create Seismic Output option. This concludes this tutorial about the dip-steered median filter.